Hey, Burge. Uh, yeah. Tell me about this one here tonight. That's a, a tough one to swallow there. You had a, a two-goal lead twice in Western Michigan battle. I guess you got to give them some credit, but you had a 3-1 lead, and then 13 seconds later, they come right down and answer. Tell me about your thoughts of the game. Yeah. Uh, first 10 minutes, uh, really disappointed. Uh, uh, after that, okay. You know, I, I thought we at least defended. We didn't put up much of a fight offensively. Our, our lack of depth up front kind of showed itself, but we were defending, playing hard, I thought. Um, you know, Wads, the, the – you know, Cap makes a, a great play to make it uh, two to one or three to one after our power play or penalty kill can't get the job done. And um, unfortunately, we just, you know, we had the puck on our stick and, and, and uh, uh, freshman turned it over and, and, and then he turned it over again. And, and, and then the second goal, I mean, obviously, or the third goal, I guess, uh, Ludwig, that's not, that's not something that uh, he's given up this year. And it's unfortunate because, um, I thought we battled really hard to get to get to that position, and not to come away with uh, three points was was disappointing. But <clears throat> the more times we're in this situation, hopefully the better will be next time. And I and I say specifically to those two. I mean, you know, the 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 the, the freshman deal was the same one on both plays, and 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 Ludwig obviously. Uh, hasn't let in a goal like that all year long. So, it, yeah. it, you know, we're, we're trying to learn how to win. You know that. Um, and it's not easy. And we showed that tonight. And But full marks to Western, yes, 100%. Full marks to Western Michigan to get on the bus on Thursday after what happened in their rink last weekend and come and take f five or six points. you got to tip your hat. Yeah, absolutely. So now you turn your attention to Minnesota Duluth. So how do you, you prepare this week now to get ready for them? What What's the, the thought process going to be as you get ready for the Bulldogs? My, my, my attention isn't to them yet, Wads. I can tell you once we, once we start to prepare, um, our Achilles heel this year has been handing people things. Self-inflicted. Tonight was another example. Minnesota Duluth doesn't come at you like Western Michigan does. And they're as good as anybody that we're, we're going to play against. Maybe as good as anybody in the country in taking advantage of uh, uh, teams that, that do self-inflicted things, um, which seems like a bad matchup on paper. But uh, I, I feel like if we can clean it up, and, and, and it's just a matter of when, not if, but w when we clean this up and start ha stop handing people things, yep. um, I, I think we'll be a handful. And, and – you know, next weekend against against Duluth is our next opportunity. We we need to rest. We basically ran nine forwards the the second and third period. We we only had sixty. <clears throat> Mahalik went down there with an upper body injury. Um, so I think rest is important over the next forty eight hours, and we'll go back to work on uh, you know some level at some level on Monday, and then and then uh, and then Tuesday we'll back on the ice. Hey, uh, Alex, uh, I was trying to ask you about that first career goal. Sorry, uh, trying to get things straightened out here. Bittersweet, I'm sure, for you. But first off, tell me about that, that first career goal. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, Wads. I uh, actually had one last year, too. But uh, ah. first one of the season definitely felt good uh, to get off the back. Um, Bazo uh, beat a couple guys out of the corner, won the puck battle and fed me in the slot and just did my best to be able to uh, put it in the back of the net. Yeah, and you had several good looks here tonight, too, and, and getting a chance to play. What What is your game? Do you, do you like making those big shots from the point? Because you've got a cannon, too. And, and I think before it's all said and done, it was sorry about missing that first goal last year, too. I forgot about that. Crazy yeah. year. But w what's your game? Do you, do you like that big slapper from the point, or do you like to dangle there in the middle and wrist one by? Yeah, um, I think most of the time I like to just keep it simple. And uh, whenever I can get pucks through the net, I try to do that. Um, and other than that, just keep it simple. Um, see if I can find some open teammates here and there. But, uh, yeah, I like to keep it simple. Yep, keep it, and that's exactly what to do. How about the game itself, though? Uh, you got out to the three. You, you gave yourself some insurance and the team some insurance there, but, but let it slip away. Tell me about your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought overall we had a pretty solid game, especially uh, after last night's game. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't come out with the win, but uh, now we look forward to next weekend. And, and tell me, well, now what, what the mindset will be as you get ready for, for Minnesota Duluth. You've had four straight against Western Michigan, but you had a chance to play Minnesota Duluth in the pod. So how does that kind of affect your, your preparation as you get ready for the week this week? Yeah, um, I mean, nothing changes. We continue by staying and uh, staying on the process. Um, and we just do our best to try to get our, ourselves prepared for uh, Duluth here.
We've played them a couple times uh, in the pod, and uh, we'd like to get a couple of those games back for sure. So we're looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, both of those games were some pretty close games. I think it was an empty netter that, that made it a two-goal deficit in, in one of those games. But they were, they were close games. So do you feel like you guys have progressed from where you were then to where you're at now? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we've definitely taken some steps uh, in the new year here. Um, so we're excited for this weekend for sure.